Yo, welcome back to another video. Fucking Carbon Redux is actually kicking my ass. The game keeps crashing and it's basically taking up all the time that I have to make a video. And the plan was to drop the fucking, you know, prologue. The first, the plan, I mean, I made the video, so y'all know what I meant. But yeah, it was that. And then after that, basically, uh, the game just kept crashing whenever I started the event. Like, no matter what I do, I start the event, the game dies on me. So I'm like, fuck. I'm just going to put that on the back burner for a little bit. But yeah, most one is going to be after this video. Um, obviously, like most one will be after this video. So anyway, Ubisoft, Ubisoft have done a oopsie. They done a very yeah, bad so no mistake. They have finally told their players they don't like them. That they don't even care about them. Yeah, they have done a fucking oopsie. Before we get into it though, like and subscribe my people. I'm still doing the uh, rap showcase. I know it's taking forever, but on the PlayStation, I still have room to make rap. So that's what I've sort of been doing on the side when I'm doing these videos. Because I'm trying to get it as fueled as possible since I'm making this my last one. Yeah, now we're gonna go ahead and get to the actual point of the video. So, what even kick this off from the beginning from what i saw what kicked this off from the beginning was fucking mudar mudar made a fucking video talking about how basically ubisoft is going around revoking license of the crew one from people and even going as far as now if y'all don't remember what ubisoft said long ago they said that you know, you should be comfortable with not being able to own your games and that. Letting us able to, you know, take the games no matter what the reason is. Even if even if you haven't done nothing wrong. That's essentially what Ubisoft has said. And I'm saying Ubisoft because even though it's the head of Ubisoft, I mean, at this point, Ubisoft is kind of... Ubisoft is kind of becoming that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? PlayStation has been doing this too, but here's the thing. They've been doing it a little bit longer than what Ubisoft is doing. Because with, you, with, with fucking PlayStation, see, this is the story time, right? We just... just it's gonna be quick as fuck. So I bought Car Extra Racing on PS4 before the PS5 was even a thing forever ago, right? On the PlayStation, because everybody was playing it, all was just playing it, and I'm like, hey, I gave it a try. I gave it a try. This shit was fun. It was in, it was interesting. You know what I'm saying? E eventually, I did stop playing it because it was just other games I played a lot more that I enjoyed more. So I'm like, eh. You know what I'm saying? I forgot about it a little bit, and then I came back to it eventually because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Car X. It wasn't in my library no more. I go to the I go to the store page. That shit said that I needed to buy the game again. I'm like, bro, I'm not finna do that shit. And for people that thought to be like, bro, it's fine. They're legally obligated to do that. And it's like, bro, that shouldn't be like that. This is how they're trying to get y'all. It don't matter who the hell is doing it. This shit is wrong. Like taking games from niggas that rightfully pay for it and then making them pay for it again or just taking it away from them, period, for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is wrong. And for niggas that's about to be like, oh, well, that's 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 good because that means they're actually doing something. No, the fuck is not. Like, honestly, that's not doing nothing good. That's doing a lot of bad, and it's going to influence a lot of bad. I'm going to call it this the 2K effect. A lot of niggas got mad about this, and rightfully so, because... They didn't say they was going to do this with the crew one. People thought they was just capping anyway. And they was just talking out their ass. And then maybe they just think back on what the fuck they said. And be like, oh, well, maybe we won't do that. But no. What they said they would do for the crew one is that they would basically just shut the service down. Meaning that you won't be able to play the game at all because the game is online only. Same as the crew two and same as the crew motifist. Their true intentions were to just straight rip the game out of your fucking shit. Like, straight up to strip the game out of your shit and that shit was horrible like literally they basically said yo you see this game right here you see this game right right no more oh, <laughs> they basically said fuck y'all y'all played the game y'all spent the money now it's time for y'all to spend more money on our even more expensive games that are broken and not even able to work properly the crew motifist the, the the game i've been on the ass since last year literally bro like they're about to normalize ripping games on a niggas fucking libraries and shit revoking assets from them for no reason you know what i'm saying they about to normalize this shit and this is this is when we actually need to do something about this shit bro fuck the fuck bro fuck the retards it's about to come through and be like oh ubisoft never did nothing wrong they make good games why you why you why you why you hating on ubisoft and it's like bro 
they hate they giving people reason to hate on them because they're doing dumbass decisions like these and rather than just turning off the servers like they said they would like if they if all they did was say oh well we just gonna turn off the servers like yeah niggas would still be upset about that because now they sit because now they can't play the fucking game but at least, at least that means someone that's gonna have a very dedicated heart will make the game on an offline patch. You know what I'm saying? Like for PC, obviously. I feel bad for you console niggas. I know y'all want a PC so bad, but yeah, for an offline patch, someone will be dedicated enough for, to do that. You know what I'm saying? And now it's not possible because they basically said, well, uh, y'all don't deserve to keep this game because we're shutting it down. So. Uh, how about we just take it from y'all instead? You know what I'm saying? And people get mad about how people do piracy and shit. It's like, bro, when you see shit like this happening, do you understand why piracy is such a good thing nowadays? You get motherfuckers like Ubisoft that's gonna try to normalize shit like this, and now you're gonna be stuck like, oh damn, well, guess it's turn, guess it's time to pirate. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, piracy ain't even wrong no more. The the, the shit that's wrong is Ubisoft because they're making these dumbass decisions to basically fuck over the people that's been playing their games for so long. Like, there's so many OGs that played the crew one. I'm not counting myself. That's that's basically what's going on. Ubisoft are saying fuck our players, fuck our people that bought our games. We're just gonna take this game from y'all because we said we would close the servers enough and, and we feel like that if we do that people will get too much of a big brain to blow an offline patch and let people play the game forever and we can't allow that so we have to take this game away from y'all so y'all will play our newest piece of trash called the crew motor fist our most broken game yet <laughs> it's, it's like bro this is this is sad the crew 2 and the crew motor fist are also online only so what's gonna happen when it's time for the crew 2 to go to the ghoul People actually defend this shit. People actually defend Ubisoft taking games out of people's libraries because they're about to shut the servers now. And I guarantee you it's gonna be on there. Oh well, because it's their product, so why not? It's like, bro, doing that just makes you look bad. You gonna look like the damn gremlin doing this. And it's crazy that they don't think about this, but see, here's the thing. This is Ubisoft we're talking about here. These are the same motherfuckers that literally three cases about the rap editor. Both bots, the last one ignored. You know what I'm saying? Six months down the line of the game's release, the rap editor has been broken. This is straight. This is not no collectively no more because that, not, you know what I'm saying? This is like straight. And Ubisoft have not done a damn thing about it to make it better, but done everything to make it worse. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's about it. And most, most wanted relooks coming after this video. So that's about it. And I'll catch y'all later.